So, so Ross, you've been at the club for almost two seasons now. I haven't joined the academy from from Saints. Yeah. Can you give us a little overview um, about you know your your journey into into professional rugby? You know how it all started out. Um, so initially, I was just at uni, um, just playing for Loughborough. And then I uh, just just kind of got approached um, sort of early January of uh, 2016, I think it was, and uh, just yeah, just been been here ever since, and um, yeah, been involved with the pre seasons and just playing playing for the A League and Stormside. Yeah, I, I mean like I, I can't fault it at all. You know, the boys are very welcoming. It's a very it's a very good environment to be in to improve. Everyone always wants the best of you and obviously to like get get better at each training session. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been really good for me and my rugby and obviously off field as well. So I, I've been playing like, so with like people like Matt Gallagher and Max, I like, you know, I've been playing with them throughout the, throughout the age groups and that. So it's kind of been, I, I only really lost like maybe half, half a year. So it wasn't, wasn't too bad. Cool, so uh, I know David Jones is really keen on um, especially the young young lads, you know, keep keep on their studies. And yeah. Yeah. You know, it alludes to the fact that you, you know you, you're doing quite well in, in chemistry. So tell us a bit about you know how you, your endeavours, you know, off field and what what you like to do. Um. So yeah, I, I study. Well, I love for I study chemistry. I'm in my third year now, and um, you know, it's it, it's it's something different to rugby. It's it's quite nice to have um, have something else to focus on. So like at the moment. Like I've got, I've got exams, so it's nice to sort of be able to switch off from, you know, just being rugby, 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 and like being able to sort of go and like do the academic side. So um, yeah, it, it fits in quite well with the with the lifestyle. How important do you think that is for for lads like yourself and the other young lads in the, in the team to you know basically have some, something else away from rugby to keep them, um, you know, keep them occupied, you know, other than having to you know, think about your plays? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it, it just kind of gives you something else to do instead of just sitting sitting on your PlayStation or just watching TV after after training. So I think it's massively important. It, it, it provides it provides uh, sort of a pathway to other things outside of rugby, and you know you can't just be rugby, 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 because you know it's, it's a short career, and you gotta gotta prepare for after. So, so, so the Anglo Welsh Cup, you know, returns uh, this week against Dragons. Yeah. Um, how, how excited do you, do you guys get? You know, knowing this this part of the season is coming up, and there's a, there's a good opportunity to play. Um, you know, play. Good quality rugby in front of a good-sized crowd at Manning's Park. Well, I mean, like for us, you know, we we train hard week in week out and not always get the opportunity that we want. But so, but like you know, as as you said, like this weekend and the weekend after, we have we have two weeks to sort of show how much we've improved, like from training and being able to put that into a game of the weekend. Um, so I, I, yeah, it's just uh, it's just a great opportunity and everyone's everyone's excited, especially myself. So. Yeah, I haven't played, you know, in, in the um, in the A League teams and then racking up a couple of appearances in this Anglo Welsh Cup as well. And what are your ambitions, um, you know, for the time being at, at Saracens? Uh, just to be able to be the best player I can be, really. Um, you know, just keep learning from everyone around me, uh, keep working hard, so on and off the field and in the gym, and just yeah, become become the best player I can. In those training weeks. Do you take a lot of tips from from some of the, some of the senior lads. You, who who do you say you work with um, you know, most closely? Um, I mean, for different things. I mean, so for sort of high ball stuff. I mean, like look at Sean Maitland and uh, Liam Williams. Like they're great in, great in the air. And just trying to get tips off them, and you know, just try and sort of emulate what they do um, on the on the field. Um, and then, yeah, just like, yeah, defensively. I mean, everyone everyone likes to defend differently on the wing. So it's quite it's quite hard to sort of you know be able to be like ah. Oh, uh, like say like, again, Sean. Sean, for example, like maybe, maybe he will defend in a different way that I like to defend. Like I quite like to be quite up in people's faces and like try and get as much contact as possible. And other people might not be the same. So different in that aspect and attack wise as well. You know, I'm, I like to you know get the ball in space and like step people. And some people like the ball and just so, yeah, some people just like to take the contacts and stuff like that. So it's um, yeah, it's hard to yeah. hard to really say. For sure, but. It's Back back to the game this weekend. Previous previous games in this this competition, quite quite close. It was very very close against Queens and yeah. you know, close again against against Sale, but without without the reward maybe the, the team wanted. Um, have the team looked at those performances um, s since since those games and looking to you know take the games to the Dragons again you know against them at Alliance Park on the weekend? Yeah, I mean like the the one thing we talked about really was just the fact that we needed to stay on it for 80 minutes and you know we did for 60 minutes of both games. And then we just sort of let it slip in the last sort of well, it wouldn't even be the last twenty; it'd be like a five, ten minute block, and it's just hard to regain momentum there. So uh, we've just addressed it, and just you know we're trying to be able to like 
continue to have the momentum throughout the throughout the whole 80 rather than um, 60 minutes as, as we have done before. So it's a great prospect to, to run in front of a, um, an Allianz Park crowd um, at the weekend. How, how exciting is that? Uh, must be exciting. Um, you know, the first team boys get it week in, week out, and you know we aspire to be where they are, and we get a taste of it um, coming this weekend. So, yeah, very, very exciting.